Hello everyone, the Nerd Mary here and in this video we will learn about some terms that is coenzyme, cofactor and prosthetic group in relation to enzymology. So what are enzymes? By definition, enzymes are specialized proteins which have the role of biocatalysts, right? Now, enzymes can be classified as enzymes can be either simple enzymes or they can be complex enzymes. Right? Now simple enzymes are those enzymes which only have a proteinaceous part. So these are protein only enzymes. But sometimes the only protein part doesn't have enough functional groups to catalyze a particular reaction. So in that situation, you need protein plus a non-protein part. Right? Now these complex enzymes are also termed as the hollow enzymes, right? Okay, now in the hollow enzyme, the protein part is termed as the apoenzyme. And the non-protein part has several other names. So the non-protein part can be known as either it is a prosthetic group or it can be a cofactor. Right. So basically, if we try to express our understanding by now in a mathematical formula, so that will be simply holoenzyme is equal to apoenzyme plus prosthetic group or cofactor. Right. Now let us understand in details what are prosthetic groups and what are cofactors, right? Now suppose we have the protein part of an enzyme over here. This is the protein part. Okay. Now in this protein part, if we have something attached to it by stable, suppose we have some structure attached to it with strong covalent bonds, strong stable interactions, maybe covalent or non-covalent, strong, strong stable interactions, then this thing will be known as a prosthetic group. Right. But on the other hand, if this interaction that we can see with some other non-protein part is weak, and transient then this specific non-protein part will be known as the cofactor right now prosthetic groups can be different organic as well as metallic components but cofactors are mostly metals now if we have a metal as the prosthetic group then the metal containing metal prosthetic group containing hollow enzyme will be known as a metallo enzyme whereas if the cofactor is a metal which is mostly the case then the metal cofactor containing hollow enzyme will be known as metal activated weighted enzyme now we are coming to the end of this video we have to learn about one more concept that is what is a coenzyme so now, basically, what we understand about en enzyme kinetics is that we have certain thing known as enzyme. Now, enzyme has some substrate with it. Right, and finally, it turns out to be enzyme plus product. This is what enzyme catalysis is. Now, there are certain molecules which are known as coenzymes which act as substrate shutters. That means they bring the substrate to the enzyme so that the enzyme can work on the substrate to make the product. So coenzymes bring the substrate to the enzyme. So coenzymes act over here in this part and act as substrate shutters. So I believe by this time you understand the difference between cofactor, coenzyme, prosthetic group, holoenzyme and apoenzyme. 
I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share this video among your peers and friends of medical school and college. And by any chance, if you haven't subscribed to the, my channel yet, please do hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon and put the notification to all so that you never ever miss a video from my channel. Until then, bye bye. See you in the next one.